Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today we're talking about data types in Power BI. So let's go. Hey, and welcome to our channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, so data types in Power BI. How does it work? Why is it important? And how can you change the data type of a column? So let's answer some of these questions right now. When you load your data into Power BI Desktop, it will attempt to convert the source data to the most efficient data type for storage and for calculations, as well as for visualizations. So having the right data type will not only lead to a better performance, but it is also crucial for making calculations using DAX later on in your report. For example, Let's say you have a date column and that date column has been assigned a text data type and you try to create a DAX measure that requires a date data type, it won't calculate properly. It's also important to have the correct data type for report performance. For example, if you assign a data type of a decimal for a column that only has whole numbers, it is not gonna be very efficient because it takes way more storage space to store decimal numbers instead of whole numbers. And if you don't need to use that extra space, you shouldn't, you should try to minimize that storage. Now, let's take a look at some data and we can go through some of these concepts and see how we can change our data types. Let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here we are in uh, Power Query Editor. So I've loaded some data from a SQL Server database and uh, Power BI has automatically detected some of the data types. And uh, one thing that's always a good practice is to see the data type that Power BI has assigned. And the way to do that is very easily, you can see at the top left corner of each column, what type of uh, data it has assigned. So Power BI has got these little icons that tell you what it is. And uh, you can explore them by clicking on this little icon. And there's a variety of data types included in here, including decimal numbers, fixed decimal numbers, which would only have two decimal places, uh, and it's useful for currency type of values. And we have whole numbers, percentages, date time, date columns, time, and so on. So there's a bunch of different data types that we can explore in here. So Power BI automatically has detected some of this data type and some of it is correct. So, you know, my order date is a date time column. Uh, my sales order number is a whole number, which is correct. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, revision number here. So Power BI has assigned a decimal data type for this column. And if I expand this and take a look at um, the values that are in this, I can see that there's only a eight or a nine. So this is a whole number. So this is exactly what we were talking about in the introduction where Power BI has assigned a decimal number and it's gonna take up more storage uh, than if we had assigned a whole number. So I would usually change this to be consistent with the data that's in this column. So how can we change the data type? Well. We can do it right from here, from the, the data preview by clicking on the little icon and we can change it to whole number. And as you'll notice here on the right side in the applied steps, Power BI has created a new uh, step here that is the change type, which is just converting that column from the uh, initial decimal to a whole number. Now, Power BI uh, as well as all Microsoft products, allows you to do the same thing in multiple different ways. So if you don't like to change the data type right in here, you also have the option to do it from the Home tab by going to the data type right under the Transform section. And you could change it right in here as well. So if I delete this step and I'm back at a decimal data type here and it tells me right here because I've selected this column it's a decimal number data type 
I can always change it to a whole number from here. And again, we see the little icon has changed and we see the new step has been added, changing that from a decimal to a whole number data type. Now there is another way that we can do this. So we can also do this by going to the transform tab. And from the transform tab, we do see the data type uh, here as well. And right now it's saying that it's a decimal data type and we can change it to a whole number. Now, one other cool thing that you can also do from the transform tab is that you can detect a data type. So let's take a look at uh, a column that I created here. And this column is, I just called it the uh, order date, date type, data type undefined, uh, which this icon here uh, shows that it's uh, undefined data type. So it can be number or it can be uh, text. But as we can see from this column here, clearly it's a date time column. So we can select this column and click on detect data type. And then as we can see here, Power BI has automatically detected that this is a date time column. So if we take a look at the, the little icon, this is a date time column. Now, if we take a look at the data in this column here, if we keep scrolling, all of it is at midnight. So this leads me to believe that these times are actually not being tracked. And this is actually just an ordered date and not a date time column. So how can we convert this date time column into just a normal date? Well, it's exactly the same as we've been doing before. We can do it from here by clicking on the little icon and changing it to date. And Power BI is going to tell me that uh, there's already a step that is to change a data type because we previously changed uh, the data type on the revision steps. So we can just click on replace current and it'll just replace this step, adding the additional data type change for this column as well. So if I clicked on replace, as you notice, there's still just the one step and it did not delete our previous um, change. As we can see right here from the formula bar here, we still have our revision number being changed to a whole number data type. And we also have our order date column being changed to a date converted from a date time column. So that's it. That's how you can change your data types inside of Power BI. And be sure to always check your data types before you load your data into your model. Hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next video.